Are you ready for Mother's Day? Now, in England, Mother's Day is on March 15th. Now, I know in America it's like a couple of months away or something, but this video should hopefully help you either get some ideas for Mother's Day then or just see what I've got my mum. Now, I'm very passionate about Mother's Day because my mum puts so much effort into me and she spends a lot of money like making sure I'm okay and stuff. So, at the odd times, I do love to spoil her like this. So, the first thing I want to show you is the beautiful boxes I got to put her presents in. Now, I absolutely love these because they were so cheap and they have lovely glitter and lovely patterns on it that says lovely mum and then the other one I got her is just purple flowers now usually baskets to presents in suck they are so horrible and they're just really awkward sizes but these are just perfect for me so I was really happy when I saw that so that's good and they were less than a pound which is so good and they were from Home Bargain. Now the next thing I want to show you is the lovely cards I got. Now I wouldn't normally show you cards but I just thought they were so cute I had to and I got my brother's one too because I'm such a good sister. So basically the card from me says to a wonderful mum from your daughter and it's got that lovely tatty teddy on and it, they're holding a bouquet of flowers and it's got lovely glitter patterns on which is so cute and that was £3 so that is so lovely and cute. Now the one I got for my brother says to a wonderful mum from your son and again it has the lovely beautiful bear on it and he's just with some like cake. Again it's glittery and I just love how they're, they're both the same size and they look so nice with each other and they're both £3 which is really good for a card really. I was going to get a card from Moon Pea but the website was completely playing up so I gave up and just got her these which I'm really happy with. Now because we're such a cute family we usually get cards from the cats to whoever like the special occasion is for. So I got this one from the cats and it's just a cute little cat in a little flower pot and that has some lovely glitter on it so that's really cute. Now the first two presents I'm going to show you are actually ones that are like supposed to be ideas for you so you can either make it yourself or something like that. First thing I got was from a shop called Home Bargains and this is a voucher book. So basically you get five vouchers and they say things like this voucher entitles you to your favourite home cooked meal so I'd probably buy her a takeaway. The next one says this voucher entitles you to a relaxing bubble bath so I will make her a special bath full of Lush product. This voucher entitles you to a day off from housework. What mum wouldn't love that? And then you get two ones you can just, the person can write whatever they want to in so that's really nice and then they just sign like a checkbook. Now I saw this in the shop and I loved it. Then I looked on eBay and I found one with lots more which was much better. I suggest you check out where to get it from or you could just make your own that would be just as nice. The next thing I got is from this special website because I love to get like little unique things and it's basically a box and on the front it says 20 reasons why mum is amazing and then by Kerry which is me. And basically you get the option to change the writing so it could be 20 reasons why my mum is the best and then you write your name and you basically get to fill all this out on the website but you could make it yourself so either way it's really good and it pops out like this you can pick between 20 or 10 cards and you write all the reasons why your mum is amazing like I decided so for example reason number one I love how contagious your smile is number two we can always make each other laugh until our tummies hurt so each card is really cute and personalised so that is just a really beautiful idea which once again you could easily do yourself to recreate it so that's a lovely idea so I know mums would usually love that so you can either go on that website pick 10 or 20 or make it yourself now the next thing I got is this lovely little plaque thing and I know my mum got one for her mum who sadly passed away and I can see it right over there so I got her one too and basically it is like a frame that you can like just sit up and it's like a lovely ornament so that's really cute and it's like a lovely glass pattern which is really nice. And the next thing I got her was from another weird website and basically it is my family cookbook. Now I thought this was a fantastic idea because my mum likes to cook so she can write down her own recipes, you get templates in here so you just write like the title the ingredients and then the space for a picture and stuff like that and that is just absolutely lovely so if your mum loves to cook that is a gorgeous idea and basically it comes in this cardboard container and then you just pull the book out of here so that's really good next thing I got her is just a silly little item and it is her favourite magazine which is called Woman's Health now she normally wouldn't go out of her way to buy this and so I like to treat her to it because my mum loves reading she'll enjoy that so I know people will be like 
get a magazine for Mother's Day, but it's what my mum likes, so I got her. Now, the next couple of items are all candle related because my mum and I are obsessed with candles. We light them every single night, so I thought I'd treat her to a couple. Now, the first one I got was from B&Q, and when I saw this, I was originally just attracted to the colour because it's like loads of purples, and as you can see, our like, living room is purple coloured, so that's that. But then I smelled it. Oh my god, and it smells so good. The flavour is raspberry and plum, but it absolutely smells lovely. It literally just smells like jelly sweets. So if you're into sweets, then I would recommend you going and looking for this because it is absolutely lovely. The next thing I got is a jewel candle. Now, I saw YouTube do a review on this, and I absolutely love the idea because basically it is just a normal candle. But once it burns to a certain level, you get a piece of jewellery in foil. And that is just a beautiful idea because a person might love candles, but you want to get them something extra. And then they'll find a piece of jewellery in And that is just a lovely idea, don't you think? So I have got three candles from them so far. We got a pink cherry one before. She got this lovely pair of blue pearl earrings. She got a Valentine's one, which was red. And it was like a rose and chocolate smell, which is gorgeous again. And now this one is a birthday cake one. And that, it would go nice to our living room. I know they're doing bath bombs now and you can get a piece of jewelry inside them so I'm definitely going to try them next time. I think this is just a lovely idea for someone who loves candles. This is a perfect present for them and all the smells are absolutely gorgeous that I've smelled so far. I've had absolutely no problems with them. The next candle I got is a village candle and I know this is quite a well-known brand in the UK so I don't know about anywhere else and I got the flavour Cherry Vanilla Swirl. I originally smelled this in a shop and I loved it but she was with me so I didn't want to buy it so I wrote the name down and I got it online and basically this smells like strawberry slushies or whatever flavour that is so if you like the smell of slushies and then this candle is perfect for you because it's so nice and sweet as you can tell we love sweet flavours scents why do I keep saying flavours the next one I got is a Yankee candle now I know everybody knows what a Yankee candle is this is in the flavour Sicilian lemon I don't know if I'm saying that right but I hope I am basically we went into the shop and she smelled this and she was like I'm definitely going to treat myself to this one day. So I remembered it and I'm getting it for her as a treat. Now, when you think of lemon, you think like a sour flavour. But this is so sweet and beautiful. It literally smells like lemon sherbet, if you know what they are. And it is just such a nice, sweet fragrance. And I really, really like it. So I'm happy about that. The next thing I got is also a Yankee little set. Now, I usually love to get the little gift sets at a Yankee candle because, like, my mum loves candles and they're always really nice. And I mainly got this for the container so she can put all her little melts in it, like, when she uses them up. It's a good storage container. Basically, you get 12 wax melts. Now, some of these sound kind of weird, but usually you can't go wrong with a Yankee scent, so I'm going to try them and hope for the best. Basically, you get baby powder, ginger dust, shampoo, shampoo blossom. I have no idea if I'm saying any of these right, so sorry if I'm wrong. Lake Sunset, Pink Sands, Fresh Cut Roses, Lovely Kiku, Honey Blossom, Cassis, Garden Sweet Pea, Child's Wish, and Aloe Water. I'm so sorry if I said any of them wrong, so if I'm wrong, correct me in the description. Descri correct me. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. I would love to know the way to say it properly. Now, because she loves candles, I thought I'd better stock up with some lighters. And I found a really good deal on eBay. And I got a six lighter, so she will never run out for a while. And they're red, which is obviously the best colour. The next thing I got is a lime crime red velvet lipstick. Because she loved mine, and she loved how matte it was. And her only problem with lipstick is how, like, moist and she hates that feeling. So I got her a lime crime lipstick to play with. Because I know she's been wanting one for ages, and she's I was talking about me using mine and I know she tried mine and she really liked it I know there are a lot of bad rumours going around with Lime Crime and I know I made such a good review video on it for but please be careful if you're buying from the company I buy mine personally on eBay the next thing I got was from a show called QVC now in the UK we have a channel for QVC and basically they have something on and they try to sell you their product now I got this thing and if you know the brand Nails Inc basically it's a nail varnish remover and what you're supposed to do is lift the lid stick your finger in twist and the nail varnish will instantly come off and you'll have no rubbing or any issues like that so I got a set of three 
and my mum loves taking her nail varnish off, putting different colours on and stuff, so hopefully she really enjoys that, and I will try it, and I will write a review on my blog, so, so check that out when I vote in. I really hope it's worth the hype, because that will make taking nail varnish off so much easier. The next thing I got her are some perfumes. Now, she was talking about this perfume when she was at one of her customers' houses, she said she smelled it, and to her it smelled like candy floss. I haven't actually smelled this yet, so I can't comment on that, but I got her Beyonce Heat perfume, and considering the size it was really cheap that it was about £10 or something that was well worth the money. The next one I got is by Cheryl and it is called Stormflower. I smelled this in the shop and it is absolutely beautiful. It is such a sweet and nice fragrance so if you like them kind of fragrances I'd honestly tell you to check this out because it was so nice and I know I will be borrowing it sometimes. I'm not like a huge fan of these people so don't think I'm buying it just because of the names because that's not the reason, I just really like the scent and because I got bigger than 50ml in the share of one I got a free box of chocolates with it which is really nice and just an extra little gift for her the next thing I got her is kind of a weird, you might think it's weird but it is an Oral-B toothbrush I got her this because she got me and my brother one for Christmas. I got a purple one, my brother got a black one. And then I just felt like she was really left out because she didn't have one. But basically it's in the colour pink and I was so happy when I saw this because I could only see like blue colours and stuff. And I know her favourite colour is pink so I went out of my way to get this one specially for her. So fingers crossed she really likes it. My last few items are from Lush. Now everybody knows what Lush is and it's such a good brand. Before I go into what I've got for Mother's Day, I just want to tell you, if you're washes her hands a lot, she's washing up using water and her hands are getting dry I would 100% recommend making her try the Helping Hands Cream because I got my mum that for her birthday and it is such a good cream, her hands are getting so much softer and not as chapped and stuff. Now because that was so good I decided to get her the Enchanted Eye Cream because she's like, I know she's been looking for an eye cream and this had some good reviews so I got her this and I will let you know if it actually works or not and if it's as good as the hand cream that I got her. The next thing I got her was these Choo Choo I Love You Toothy tabs and this is like rose scented or something basically what you do is you put a tab in your mouth you chew it then you brush your teeth now I didn't really like the sound of that but my mum saw it on the website and she was really keen to try it so I caught her it so I hope she enjoys them and if not they're only cheap anyway so they're just a little like stocking filler even though it's not Christmas now the last thing I got her was this Mother's Day tin and this was on the Lush website in the Mother's Day collection and basically I got it for the tin because she can put all her Lush products in and it will be fine so that was one of the main reasons I got this now the tin is absolutely beautiful and the lid is really easy to take off so I was really pleasantly surprised when I saw that now you get the little card of what you get in it and you get five items and in this you get a rose bubble bar which is this and this is really pretty and it is glittery and it's a lovely pink colour and the smell is really nice so that's a good bonus when you think of a rose smell usually I don't like the smell of roses that much but that is really nice to be honest so I was really pleasantly surprised the next one is a secret garden bath bomb and this is green and it has a little pink heart in it and once again it's really nice when I was thinking oh my god the are smell of flowers I wasn't that keen but they're actually really nice honestly get it the next thing I got her was this ultraviolet bubble bar now this is an amazing value for many because it is absolutely massive it is literally as big as my head it's once again smells lovely and I think this will look really lovely in the water because of the blues the greens and the purple colours it'll look lovely and it honestly smells gorgeous the next thing in here is the Sakura bath bomb and this is just white, it's got little pink and green bits I think it is they're absolutely good size, they're so big and that smells gorgeous too now the last one I'm not that keen on but I'm sure it'll be just as nice in the bath so I'm not really concerned if the smell doesn't attract me straight away because I know it doesn't really smell the same but this is the rose bombshell and this just kind of has a funny type smell to me so oh well it's white and it has it's meant to be a little picture of a rose on the front but mine's kind of crumble but that's the only one I'm not happy with the others are really gorgeous smells so I would really recommend getting that if you have the money to if not then that's fine too you can always just get a one or two Lush Bombs anyway leave a comment below tell me what you're getting your mum for Mother's Day if any of my ideas helped you that would be lovely to know I hope I could help someone in a small way or even if you just enjoyed seeing what I got her like this video and subscribe thanks for watching bye